Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we take a look at all of the latest information regarding the Anvil Karak, including some new released images and what we saw on Star Citizen Live. As always, a big thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you do enjoy my content, find it useful, and would like to help my channel out even more, be sure to follow the link to my Patreon page below. So for the last 10 minutes of Star Citizen Live, they spoke about the updated Karak since we saw it at CitizenCon. We have also had some new images for subscribers, which I will show you today. Uh, and as I do, I'll go through and just point out some of the areas that we're looking at, what is interesting about that and what we heard from Star Citizen Live yesterday. Now, firstly, we can take a look at the new medbay. We can see it has an MRI style scanner, which has now been glassed off with a screen, obviously for the safety of those inside as well. It's got a very sterile and modern look. And personally, I think it looks incredible. You can actually see to the right hand door of the MRI. That is the technician door for the MRI operator. So they can monitor the patient and see all the vitals and the information as they're putting them through the MRI. This will kind of likely reveal what is wrong with the person and allow you to treat them appropriately. To the left of the MRI station is the medical storage. This is where you can probably hold all your medical supplies uh, as well as specimens that you have found uh, to, to monitor and keep an eye on, which is quite interesting. Now, quickly moving on to the bridge, they have gone back to the rounded mapping table, which is there to help people navigate. The rectangular table, they said, did not fit, especially regarding metrics, which is what allows the player to maneuver around safely and easily. I did personally prefer the, the rectangular one, but the round one does look great anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Now, some of the images we got to see, one of them was of the workbench. This is an area or a room which is kind of like a tool repair room, which allows players to fix things up, uh, but also appears to have its own containment unit for anything maybe you find that you want to work on. Now, I really love the fact that the character's got this kind of room, and I hope we see it in other ships as well that need it. Uh, it's kind of like a handyman station where you can repair components, subcomponents, maybe even just repair your weapons. It looks pretty big as well, so you could probably have quite a bit of storage in there for just things that you're working on or excess storage. We got to see inside some of the cargo pods. You can see it's got quite a big door with an access panel and top gangway with a panel on there as well, uh, a door access from both sides. I think it is sort of said that the ballista might be able to fit inside these, so using these cargo pods as Maybe a way of transporting blisters, maybe there'll be a, a modular vehicle transporter version. Something that I have heard people suggest, which I would love to, to see Star Citizen make, is kind of like a science suite that you can fly along, drop off this science suite on a planet and allow them to study the planet and do whatever they need to do, like maybe seismic readings or taking samples of soil and whatnot. I think that would be an amazing way, because you'd have three different science pods that you could spread out around a planet or different moons. Uh, not confirmed, I think that's more of just something that they would like to do or maybe something that we've suggested, so fingers crossed. Uh, we've seen the cartography room, they actually removed the screens along the walls so that you could see the central map better. They took inspiration from Mass Effect and this room is going to be used for plotting jumps, maybe recording new systems and such. Really looking forward to the gameplay that will come with this cartography room. It's going to be very exciting. We saw a bit of the habitation area as well. You can see there's different lighting compared to the and colours compared to the engineering areas. Much more warming and welcoming. There you can see lockers and hold alls and even a shoe rack, which is going to all going to be very useful when physicalized inventories come in and you need to literally pick what you want to take with you. And if you don't bring it, yeah, you don't have it basically. But it's looking very nice. Now we saw some external shots as well. Uh, firstly, the turret, which we have seen already in the CitizenCon demo. Now, the bottom of the ship apparently took inspiration from the Galactica from Battlestar. They have integrated the underside a little bit more. The landing gear is now flush rather than exposed. And you can see the, the forward ramp there as well for where the Earth rover goes in. The rear engine section has actually changed since CitizenCon. Uh, and personally, I think it does look a lot better than it used to. They tried to integrate the original concept shape. Um, really hard they've tried to get it as original as possible but obviously it needs to change somewhat due to the new style guides and the new methods that they actually create these ships with so unfortunately it has changed but let me know what your thoughts are on that do you prefer it to the original 
Do you prefer it to Citizen Con demo or do you hate it altogether? Something I do want to point out uh, is actually the docking collar door, which we can see in this new image. Now we know they are working on ship to station docking. So I would think that this is probably the new standard, which is a two by two meter docking collar. This will likely replace all the current docking collars that we have on all of the ships at the moment. Do notice above the door as well, there are four holes. I do wonder if these are there to maybe clamp themselves and attach. Maybe an extension will go out before the door actually is able to be opened. But something uh, a viewer of mine, Pisspaw Pete, suggested during a stream was whether these could actually be pipes to refill your oxygen, your water tanks, maybe. I think that would be a great way of doing it rather than having to physically do it ourselves. Uh, do let me know what you think there. Uh, and I'll just finish off with some random other images that we that we had as subscribers. But this is the latest information from the, for the Karak. It is not currently in the 3.8.2 files on the PTU, uh, but it won't be far off. I have got a roadmap update coming out later today, uh, but I will bring a spoiler from that. There is only 25 more tasks remaining till the Karak is complete, so it's very close. Do let me know what you think about this ship and hit that like button if you love the Karak. Subscribe for more Star Citizen content as well. I will do a full in-depth tour of the Karak when it releases, going through it section by section and pointing out areas and things that you may have missed yourself. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothers and we'll explore it together. Thank you so much to my patrons and channel members. You guys are really wonderful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.